Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for watching my videos and let's see what today's problem is. So today's problem is convert an array into a 2D array with conditions. So basically we'll, we are given a, a, a 1D array and we have to convert it into 2D array. And there are some conditions. And what are those conditions? Uh, the 2D array should only contain elements of the array. Obviously we will be adding only the elements which are given in this array then we have to have only distinct integers in every row so there could not be duplicate in the same row okay and the third condition is that uh, the number of rows should be minimal okay we should not have like uh, uh, infinite like just keep each and every element in a same uh, like different row we cannot do that obviously we should have minimum number of rows we have to return the 2D array. Okay, so uh, let's understand the problem. Um, let me just write the test case. So we have this 1, 3, 4, 1. 1, 3, 4, 1. And uh, 2, 3, 1. 2, 3, 1. See, this is a 1D array which is given to us and we have to make a 2D array. Let's see what the 2D array is is in the output so in the output we have this 2d array so first is 1 3 1 3 4 2 then we have 1 comma 3 and then we have 1 okay so this is what the 2d array is so okay uh, now just see that how they are basically uh, adding all these elements in different rows so first one they have added here then three in the same row then four in the same row but now one one we cannot add in the same row because one is already there in the row it is mentioned in the question that we uh, every row can have only distinct integers right there cannot be duplicates so one will go to the next row then this one will go to the next row okay then 2, we can add 2 here in this row, right, we can add 2 in this row and uh, then we will have 3, we cannot add 3 here because of the same reasons, 3 is there already in this row, so 3 we will add in the next row and then we have 1 and we will add 1, in a second row we cannot add because 1 is already there so we will add it in the next row, hence this is the 2D array which is the made and it is the minimum number of rows which can be there and uh, so basically yeah there are no duplicates in every row so this is what the problem is now let's understand how we can think of a solution just pause the video and think of all the concepts which you know uh, and see if any of that concept can be applied here meanwhile i will write the co uh, test case again 1341 2, 3, 1. Okay. So, see guys. Here, how you will think of the approach. How basically I think of, of the approach is, I see some hints which I get from the problem statement itself. So, if you see, they are saying distinct. Basically, there is something count involved. Right? Count. Ki basically, what do you mean by distinct? That there should not be duplicate. And how we can check whether there are duplicates? We store the count, right? If we know the count of every, like we say, we know, uh, let's say we know that one is occurring how many times? One is occurring three times. So obviously there will be three rows, at least three rows, because this one will go in one row, then this one will go in another row, and this one will go in the other row, right? So this is one thing. So, there is something like count involved. So, when there is count, it means you have to store the count. So, you can use a data structure called as hash map to store the count. Right. You can use a data structure to store the count. Okay. Now, fine. Let's understand uh, uh, one another uh, thing related to the problem. So, um, see. We have to basically make a 2D array, right? We have to make a 2D array. So basically, 2D array means multiple 1D arrays. 
this first and c if you store the count of each of the key each of the element which is uh, there in this uh, array 1d array so if you see one is occurring how many times three times then three is occurring how many times three is occurring two times and then four is occurring how many times four is occurring only one time and then we have uh, two two is occurring how many times two is also occurring one time so basically this is your hash map of the count so this is the element is a key and value is the count of that element in the 1d array fine this we understood now how many total number of rows will be there how many total number of rows will be there in the 2d array see it will be the maximum number of count of the element any of the element which is the maximum because one if one is occurring three times we have to have one in every row we cannot have one in same row right because there is a condition that the element should be distinct fine so at least we will what how to know see how to know how many rows will be there how to know how many rows will be there in the 2d array the maximum count the maximum count let's say if one is occurring one more time here so the count here will be what four so then there will be four rows because each one will go in each row right getting so this is one observation now what we will do simple now it's very simple see very simple now it's very simple once you have made this hash map right basically we just need to add the elements in the rows that's it so how we will do that we will have this 2d array okay let me just write it here so we have this 2d array answer let's say okay we will iterate on this hash map we will go to each element so we go to one basically we iterate on this keys of the hash map so we go to one we will see okay one as a count it's not zero if one is there in the hash map so make a row make a row add one in it one is already added make the count reduce the count so e, now like earlier in the test case it's three right so i will add three here okay so here now we will add one in the row and since we have already used one one so we will remove it we will uh, reduce its count now the count of one is two right because we have already used one now we will go to the second uh, element we will see okay we have three so we will add three here and reduce its count to one then we go to the next we see okay we have four its count is one we will add four and we will reduce its count to zero once the key is uh, count is zero you can simply remove it from the hash map because now why to store it okay then we go to the next that is two so we will add two and we will reduce its count to zero again two is zero now so just remove it so this is one iteration completed so one iteration completed means one iteration completed means one row right now second row start from one again start from this start from this one we will add one in the row and we will reduce its count so now to count will be one okay then we will go to the next three and uh, three uh, count we will add three and we will just reduce its count to zero now since three count is zero we will remove it from the hash map okay so again one iteration of the keys are completed so one iteration one row we will now start another iteration and we will make a new row so we will see one is occurring one time one is uh, still left we will add one in the row reduce its count it becomes zero and we will remove it from the hash map once its count, uh, count is zero so now our hash map has nothing it is empty empty 
hence it means that we have used all the elements and have made all the rows so this is our output and see if you match it this is the same output as this so i hope you understood the problem and the approach basically what we are just doing is first of all we are making a hash map hash map to store the count of each element then we iterate on the hash map iterate on the hash map and basically we add the elements in the rows reduce their count okay reduce their count and if the count becomes equal to 0 we just remove it from the hash map and at last you will see that your output array is made so i hope you understood somewhat uh, the approach um, let's see the code quickly and uh, dry run the code once yourself you will better understand so see we have made this hash map we have added the count of each element we are iterating in this array we put the count if it is already not there just put it as 0 plus 1 1 count or if it's already there just add 1 to it this is the count array which is made after that we i we just work until the hash map is empty if you remember we were iterating until the hash map was empty okay we go to each entry that is each key value pair take the key take the value add the in the uh, this is our current row okay this is the current row because if you remember for each iteration for each iteration see this is one iteration from line number 12 to 21 we have one row so this is our row okay add the element that is a key in the row and decrement the count this is s is the count update the count here and if you see that the count has been the zero has been now zero just add it to this list which is to remove how what all keys we have to remove from the hash map okay after that just once the iteration is done so if you remember one iteration was equal to one row so once iteration is done add the row in the answer array and after that whatever keys count are now zero just remove them before the next iteration so this iteration got completed now remove all the keys whose values are now zero and then again start the second iteration and at last you return answer i hope you understood the code uh, it's very easy problem good problem also and uh, let me tell you the time complexity here so see the code basically what we are doing is we are linearly traversing okay so here going to the all the entries basically the in the hash map okay so it's will be linear and the space also we are using extra space here for the hash map so it will be o of n so i hope you understood the problem and the approach uh, let me know in the comments if you have any doubt uh, if you found the video helpful like it please share with your friends help me grow this channel and uh, yeah thanks for watching bye